so hello there <laughs> welcome back uh today we're gonna do some coloring on, on this amazing very original very original animation for me chasing a mushroom because that never happened yeah long time that happened okay shut up so i'm gonna color this uh animation that i did i'm gonna show you how you can color your animation uh and uh we all gonna be happy ever after is this gonna work i, I don't know but here's the animation and you, and you can play the animation here i'm using a free program called creature uh if you're new here i do that uh i ramble sorry okay sorry. and i do make some animated stuff with free programs like this one Today, we're gonna color this core here, as I said in the beginning. We're not gonna color the mushroom, because mushroom is evil. Nobody likes mushrooms. End of story. This one is a funky mushroom. So, it's a very short animation, as you see. I have the, the devil mushroom on one layer. I have the corgi on another layer. And uh, it is the... Zip it. It is the cleanup of this. So, uh, all you need to do now is to color it. There's a couple of ways you can do the coloring. How I do the coloring, usually I make a, another layer from here. Uh, I double click on that layer and I call this layer color. <laughs> That's how you spell it apparently. Today, there's a couple of ways you can color, but this is my way you can, how you can color. I'm gonna keep the dark lines. I can change the color of the dark lines, but uh, it's important to have proper line work of your animation done before and I'm going to show you why it's not a good idea to, let's say, if I hide this corgi and I reveal this little corgi here, and uh, you see the lines on this one are not quite closed and clean and all that. Let's just reveal our uh, proper uh, line up corgi and let's just color that proper line up, clean up corgi. I usually change my color from here. Uh, what's the color of the color here? I guess orange. Orange. Is this a good color? I don't know. So I have my color. The next thing I want to do is to grab my bucket slash fill to or fill to slash bucket to. And the other thing that you need to do, uh, go to settings, go to dockers, and and then go to options. Now, my two options is already open, so it is over here. What, what the two options panel does for you, it helps you to uh, helps you to adjust any tool that you have here. So in my case, I have the fill tool. It's important to put your color, the, the layer that you're going to color, beneath your landwork layer. And one, because here's my color, uh, color here, and here's my uh, color layer now. And when you select your bucket slash fill tool, here are my options for my uh, uh, <laughs> for my bucket slash fill too. Uh, I have the threshold to be two, the grill selection to be two pixels. I don't want any feathering. The place on the style that you're going. And a very important option that is hidden right over here on the sample. When you select from the sample to have all layers, this will help the fill tool to see every single layer that you have on your canvas. If you select the sample to be the current layer. So what this will what this will do is it will tell your filter to see only this layer here. Now remember on our color layer that we did, there's nothing there. So if I color now, it will color the whole layer. I don't want to do that. So Ctrl Z and go back to our two options over here on the sample on your filter, which is click this to be all layers. Now when it's all layers, it will see every single layer. On this layer we have nothing, on this layer we have the lines, on this layer we have the, the mushroom. So on our, our core layer, when we come here and just call this part, it will see these lines, which is great. I don't know, I wanted to keep uh, this to be maybe a different color, like, like in the previous, in the, um, in my rough animation, we'll see how that goes, but that's great. So. Are we done yet? No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> so if I go to the next frame, which is over here, you'll see that, hmm, my coloring doesn't change because I didn't color the next frame. Uh, basically, your color coloring will work according to your frame-by-frame frame animation. So on the next frame, if there's a different frame, different drawing, 
and you have to recall that drawing. So in order to do that, we need to create a new frame from here. So let me just get you through this quickly. Here are my three frames of the core game. They're over here. Now on my color layer, I have no frames. I only color the first one, and that first one stays through all of the other frames. So in order to create a new frame over here for this new drawing, I need to click this button over here, and my previous coloring will disappear. And now if I color, uh, I will call the new drawing. On the next drawing, which is over here, if I move my frame, you will see that my previous coloring stays, so I need, I need to create a new uh, keyframe. So now when I color, I can color again. If I go back and go through the frames, you will see that all my animation so far is color because I created uh, new frames for each position of my um, uh, animation of the line work on the core here, right? So basically, you're going after your uh, animation that you already did. You just need to call that animation and you need to make the um, frames for that. It's kind of time consuming, but at the same time, it does save you time when you use the filter rather than trying to color the whole thing by hand. So that's a good thing, I think. Now, there's a problem here because obviously this part, and I don't know, maybe this part will be white, but my background color is <laughs> white. So, I want to change my background color, and I will change my background color to be slightly grayish. And I can color with my uh, bucket tool, my fill tool. But if, if we go back, we will see that there's some stuff missed because right now, as we mentioned, if I pull this back, the sample is on all layers, so it sees everything. So the best way for me, I'm going to hit the control Z, uh, to color my background layer at once, I'm going to use the shortcut control shift and the backspace, and th that way the whole thing will be colored. So if I go through the animation, everything is there. So I'm going to go back to my color layer. I'm going to change this to... I can grab this picture tool over here. I can put the color here. Maybe this color is better. Let's see. So we are on this frame, right? So we're gonna color this. It's all right to me. We're gonna color the belly. Is the belly? We're gonna go forward, or the belly again, forward. There we go. And that's okay. Now the other thing I need to color, if I zoom in, is the eye. The eye, though, you see that I have a little, little gaps here and there. So I'm gonna grab my brush, and I want this to be white. So I'm just gonna do the brush with the brush. The uh, back, ear, and legs, I want to color in a different color. Maybe this kind of color. Yeah, blue. We're gonna go with a blue. Or this, color that. Or this. Maybe the tail, we can. Uh, this color. I'm just gonna do this for the rest. Uh, why I'm painting it uh, blue, I don't know. I, w I want it either black, but I said, nah, let's just do blue. Okay, so this still looks weird because, child of mine, uh, the lineup, the, the lineup, the line work is black. So we can change that either to grab our um, brush, Crack this brush to a bigger number here. We can increase our size. Check this box over here. And now this helps us to only color the areas on this layer that are, have fill on them. In this case, the areas that we have here are the line work. So I'm just going to do something like this. Only share keyframe. But now we have this sort of effect going. There we go. You can add, add some highlights and such, but I think this is good. So far, this uh, looks great to me. This is how you color your animations in Krita. You make your line work, you, you do the line work, the clean up of your, of, your, of, your little, little layer of your line work, and then beneath that layer, you create a new layer, on which you're going to just do the coloring. Now, you don't have to color your, uh, your lines in blue or gray or whatever, but I, this was just a stylistic choice by me, okay? Anyway, this is all for me from today. Hopefully, you like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.